Okay, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Blankenheim for this media conference with Adam Wharton. Um, as ever, if we can keep it to three questions per person in the first round, and obviously at the end we'll have a very short section embargo until 10.30 p.m. UK time this evening. So, Rob, do you want to get us in the way? Adam, lovely to see you. Is that mic on? Can we hear that? Hello. Uh. So, no, I'm not hearing that one. Sorry, I'll have to turn this on. It doesn't normally happen like this, happens. <laughs> yeah, sure. Rob, do you want to give that one a try? Ah, it's on yeah. there, I turned it on. Adam, yeah. lovely to see you. Thank you. Too. First and foremost, huge congratulations. Um, you made an awful lot of people smile when, when you got the call up. How does it feel? You're at your first major tournament at the age of 20. That's extraordinary. Yeah, it's a surreal feeling. Um, Honestly, I wasn't really expecting it. Um, I've obviously only just gone into the Premier League, so wasn't expecting anything. It was more just sort of a bonus kind of thing if I did get in. So absolutely delighted, and yeah, I just get to do what I love uh, at the top stage. Can't beat it. I know that you only made your under twenty one debut in March, yeah. I think. Um, so it must feel a bit, a bit like a whirlwind having only made your under twenty one debut in March. Yeah, is it a pinch me moment? Have you had to kind of, um, you know, wake up one moment and think, how did I get here? I've been all right, to be honest. Uh, yeah. I don't really think about it too much. Just, it's just more football for me. Uh, that's how I look at it. Um, but yeah, it's gone really fast. Um, I've really enjoyed the last six months. Um, and I just want to keep, keep playing football, getting better. Um, so yeah, absolutely delighted. Listen, you're the only member of the squad we're going to get to speak to at the moment, and there's there's a, there's a big headline and a big concern about John Stones, who had that yeah. ankle injury and now he's ill, hasn't been able to train. How is he? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've not seen him today, so um, I've just been told he's he's ill. So I think he's just in his room. Um, so yeah, I've not seen any of him today. It, your opportunity might depend on one of those big names. Being ill, being injured, not being available. Is, is that a weird feeling to, to feel so close to these guys and part of the team and yet thinking, yeah, but I want to play? <laughs> I don't really look at it that way. Uh, for me, um, the manager picks the team. Um, obviously, there's some unbelievable players. And if I'm, if I'm chose to play, then I'm more than ready. But no, whoever's on the pitch, I'm sure... Um, they'll step up and, and perform and help the team get uh, the result that we want. Hi, Hi. You made your professional debut 22 months ago. You were playing the championship in January. You made your Premier League debut in February and now you're at a major tournament. So how would you sum up a pretty incredible two years? It's hard, really. Um, it's just a dream come true, I think. Every kid who grows up playing football wants to play in the Premier League, play for the country. Uh, I got to, you know, play for the the team that I supported uh, to begin with. Uh, really enjoyed that, and then it's just continued with that since moving to the Premier League, and then now here. So yeah, it's all been very fast, but I wouldn't want it any other way. You're one of a, a new group of really talented young players. I was just wondering, for, you, for yourself, does it feel like there's a new new generation coming through? Uh, you could say that, but I think there's still, you know, some players that have been in the team for a lot, a long time, really. So I think there's a mixture, which uh, is always good, but... Yeah, there's obviously some top young players uh, in the team. So I think it's good to have that little mix. Um, and yeah, I think if you're good enough, you're old enough. And we've heard that you've shone in training. You made your debut and, and we're impressive there as well. I was just wondering, what did uh, Gareth Southgate say to you? What, after the game? After the game and, and when he told you you were, you were going to be part of his 26. Just sort of congratulations well done um, on obviously the prep camp uh, and yeah just told me to just keep going 
and you know that's all I can do just try my hardest to impress uh, throughout the week and when I get given the opportunity Thanks Adam, hi, congratulations. Um, after your debut, Gareth Southgate said that one of the reasons why he liked you was that you see the pitches early, you play forward quickly. Was there any particular player, whether at Blackburn or outside of Blackburn, that you looked at and learned from? Thank you. Uh, I wouldn't say one in particular. Um, I watch quite a lot of football, um, obviously when it's on TV. Um, I just enjoy watching or watching football, the top games especially. Um, and I think I just pick up things from all the top players. Um, and, you know, just try to implement that in my game. So there's not one in particular, but obviously there's a lot of good players that you see. And, you know, if I can add little bits of their game to my game, then I'm going to try and do that to help improve myself. Hi Adam, congratulations. Hi. Thank you. Um, our commentary team on Talk Sport said that it was one of the most confident and assured England debuts they'd ever seen. Bearing in mind you said you didn't expect to get the call up. How do you think that audition went? How did you feel? Yeah, I think it, I think I'd done well. Um, what was it? 20, 30 minutes, I think. Um, but yeah, I just... For me, it was just another football match. Um, I've been playing football my whole life, so that, the way I look at it, it's another game. I try my best in every single game that I play, so yeah, I, th I think I've done all right. Um, I never really look at my performances and think, oh, it's amazing because there's always certain bits that you can improve on. So yeah, for me, really happy to make my debut and perform the way I did but um, yeah there's always always room for improvement what, what did you think you could have improved because I mean it was 100% pass completion rate I think yeah uh, maybe just a couple couple of bits of positioning uh, out of possession just a couple of times obviously it's only a short period of time but just little little bits so small details especially at this level that, that makes such a difference uh and yeah just positioning certain moments could have been in different positions um, maybe I passed it one way but I could have maybe skipped a player um, to you know progress the ball faster but yeah it's just the little things really and just finally Declan Rice was full of praise when I sat down and spoke to him as well yeah. for you have you managed to sit down and ha have a chat with him you know bearing in mind you could potentially partner him in in midfield yeah I've, I've spoke to Declan um, he's a he's a top player uh, you've seen that over the past few seasons especially this season um, the way that Arsenal play I think really has shown what he can produce this season and yeah he's a top guy off the pitch as well um, so speaking to him just getting them little them little things like I said uh, and just yeah just everyone really just learning off everyone um, but especially him obviously similar positions yeah it's good to sort of pick up on them little things uh, and details but yeah he's uh, he's really welcomed me into the squad definitely what was his best nugget of advice for you? Uh, uh, there's none in particular that I can sort of that spring to mind but just even if it's like oh, like body positioning um, when the ball's in a certain position um, or even like bits of communication stuff like that um, yeah it just helps you uh, when you're on the pitch and when you're playing with them the way they communicate as well makes it a lot easier for you Thank you very much. Cheers Hi, Hi Adam Hi. A question uh, regarding your coach at Bristol Palace so what makes Oliver Glasner so special for you can you compare him to Gareth Southgate and um, yeah, what part does Glasner play in the fact that uh, four uh, Palace players are nominated for the Euros? Um, I think he's a top coach. Uh, I think you can see since he's come in uh, for the last part of the season, um, the way that we've played has changed. That's his, his way of playing. Uh, and we've been getting the results to show for our performances. Um, but yeah, he's, he's brought in a new way of playing, new formation. Um, he makes sure every session's 
intense. Um, you know, if we're not if we're not intense enough, if we're not training to the right standard, he'll let us know. Um, and as players, that's that's what you want. You want training to be at a, a high standard because when you go into the games, um, then you can produce. So yeah, I think he's been massive, especially for the four uh, Palace lads, for us to get chosen. I think he's definitely helped. Um, and yeah, he's like tactically very good. Um, and, you know, in training, we work on the tactical side quite a lot. And it just makes it so much easier for you as players when he tells you what he wants you to do, where he wants you to be. Uh, yeah, so he's a top manager for sure. Um, congratulations again. Thank you. I, I just wondered what your family made of it when you told them you made the 26. And also, how important have they been in where you are today? Um, I think they were probably happier than, than I was uh, when they received the news, especially my parents. They were over the moon. Um, yeah, they were just delighted for me, I think. Um, and yeah, they were just proud of how far I've come, I think, especially in such a, a short period of time. Um, and they all, you know, really enjoy watching the football as well. So that, you know, adds that a little bit more. Um, so yeah, just really delighted. And, the, and they've been important to you and yeah. getting you to where you are. Yeah, massive. Uh, I've got two brothers that I grew up with, both older, um, you know, playing with them in the garden. Uh, obviously they probably beat me up a few times, uh, in the garden that, you know, that all helps, uh, you know, getting used to the physical side of the game and, and things like that. Um, my dad's a massive football fan um, he gives me loads of advice even still now um, so yeah very sporty family um, all very supportive uh, so that definitely you know helped me uh, you know growing up and, and getting into it and then continuing to support me even even when uh, I've not been playing uh, when I was in the youth setup, so yeah, they've. I don't think I'd be here without them. Definitely. Is your dad's advice good advice? I'll say yeah, but sometimes not. <laughs> uh, do we have any other questions in the live section? Come back to Rob. Let's do it. You mentioned your dad there. Um, he's described you, I think, when he's done a couple of media interviews, as a bit of a loner. Yeah. Is he right? And, and I wonder how easy it is to fit in with, you know, you've got Harry Kane, you've got Jude Bellingham, you've got Phil yeah. Foden, these superstars that you're now training with and playing with. Um, I think Lana's a bit harsh. Um, no, I'm not, I don't have a million friends. I sort of keep myself to myself. Um, and that's just how I've, I've always been, I've always been really. Um, and that's it sort of works for me uh, I live on my own in London now so um, yeah I don't I'm not always out with my friends doing this and that and I think part of being a footballer you know you can't go out on the weekends uh, when you're growing up and things like this they're the sort of sacrifices you have to make um, so yeah I'm I'm not alone ever <laughs> I'm not like the most outgoing person you're ever going to meet. I'm not going to go into a room of people I don't know and just be very, very loud. Uh, just keep myself to myself. Um, the reason I ask is that you're clearly around some massive stars now. Yeah. You've got to know the palace like you've had time to get to know. Yeah. Suddenly you're in an England squad with these huge names. Has that been difficult? Um, no, I think they've all the all the lads have made it very easy. Um, they're all very welcoming. All happy to chat and uh, so that's definitely made it easy but yeah we're all involved in football there's plenty of things to talk about in that sense so yeah I've spoke to a lot probably all of the lads now and um, yeah not not one of them's been sort of difficult to speak to so yeah they made it very easy Okay, that concludes the live section. We'll now move on to a short section embargoed until 10.30pm UK time this evening. And we'll start with Andy Dunn. Hi, Adam. Um